Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Here are today's top headlines. One of those runaway Toyota Prius incidents is starting to sound mighty suspicious. Toyota says it will move more design engineering and manufacturing to the American market and traffic fatalities in the U.S. fall to their lowest level ever. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Friday, March 12, 2010, and now the news. One of the interesting fallouts of Toyota's quality and safety problems is that it's going to move more design, engineering, and manufacturing to the American market. Don Esmond, the senior vice president of Toyota Motor Sales USA, told AutoLine yesterday the company is doing this to get its decision making closer to the customer. Toyota is also establishing a clearer chain of command in its executive ranks to speed up the flow of information and decision making between its North American operations and its headquarters in Japan. It's also going to appoint a safety guru for North America who will oversee all recalls. And we'll have more of Don Esmond later in the show. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration announced that traffic fatalities in the United States fell to their lowest level last year. There were 33,963 people killed in motor vehicle accidents last year, down from over 37,000 the year before. That translates into 1.1 fatalities per 100 million miles driven, the lowest ever. I would point out, though, that while NHTSA and other safety advocates want to take the credit for the big drop, the credit really goes to the recession. During a recession, people lose their jobs and don't drive as much, and so the fatality rate goes down. You watch. In a couple of years when the economy is humming again, traffic fatalities will go up and we will hear an indignant chorus calling for more safety regulations. It happens every time. A California man who claims his Prius sped out of control and wasn't able to stop it until he got help from a police officer says he's not going to sue Toyota. According to the AP, Jim Sykes says he doesn't plan to sue, but the statement was issued by a law firm that he hired. So if he's not suing, why'd he hire legal representation? And the story gets even more interesting. Jalopnik reports that Mr. Sykes filed for bankruptcy in 2008 owes over $700,000, including a lot of payments, on that Prius, although Sykes denies being behind on those payments. Even so, this story is starting to sound very suspicious. The son of Hyundai chairman Chung Mung Koo was appointed to the automaker's board. According to the AFP, his son Chung Wee Sun, 39 years old, was the director of Kia and most recently vice chairman of Hyundai. His appointment fuels speculation that he is being groomed to succeed his father. Lately, a lot of stuff has been going on in the world of automotive design. Last week, GM sent Cadillac's general manager, Brian Nesbitt, back to the studio after running the brand for only seven months. Now, Wards reports that Joel Piskowski has left his position as head of Mercedes-Benz Advanced Design North America. He only joined the organization 14 months ago. Before that, he was the chief designer at Hyundai North America. No reason given for his departure. Also, effective on April 1st, Bruce Campbell, a 30-year veteran at Nissan Design America, is retiring. He'll be replaced by Alfonso Albaisa, the current VP of Nissan Design Europe. Hey, who needs spy photographers anymore? Lately, it seems all you have to do to dredge up the latest spy shots is go to the patent office. Autoblog is running these two stories. Alleged photos of a Porsche Panamera convertible have been outed by the German patent office. If these shots are correct, the big surprise here is that this drop top has four doors. The plans for Chevy's next generation Malibu are also out. What should be the 2012 model can be seen in these line drawings. It looks fairly similar to today's car, but a bit more sculpted and aggressive. In particular, its back end has received a lot of attention, which brings to mind the Camaro. The new Malibu will ride on GM's Epsilon 2 platform like the Buick LaCrosse and Regal. Coming up next, Don Esmond, the senior vice president of Toyota Motor Sales USA, talks about how they plan to get people back in the showrooms and buying Toyotas again. Yeah.
Yesterday, I sat down with Don Esmond, the Senior Vice President of Toyota Motor Sales USA, for a wide-ranging interview on all the problems that Toyota is facing right now. In the following clip, he talks about how Toyota plans to gear up its sales effort to get customers back in the showrooms. Uh, you're saying, if I got this right, with that with the new sales incentives, sales for Toyota in the U.S. are up 50% in the first 10 days, 8 days of March? Well, that was through the first weekend. Through the first okay. 10 days, probably up 40%. 40%. So, uh, I mean, if we look at it, the last two months have been pretty tough. But uh, not unexpected when you announce a stop sale and you have about 130-some thousand of your inventory, you know, Camrys and Corollas, which are your your top sellers, uh, and uh, the dealers did absolutely the right thing in terms of prioritizing the fix with the customers. Uh, you know, we've, the dealers have now completed over a million of these recalls, got up to a rate of doing some 50,000 a day. They've extended hours, they're open 24-7, uh, so they did the right thing. So obviously we didn't have full inventory in January, full inventory in February. By the end of February, we were able to kind of recover. Uh, all the inventory is updated now. March kicks off the spring selling season. And with the spring selling season, ordinarily uh, our 12 regions, kind of the dealers have their own little sales event in their area. Uh, dealers came to us and said, you know, they would like to kind of do one together. So we put together a, uh, a program that basically thanks our loyal customers. And we've got a lot of loyal Toyota customers that believe in the brand, have confidence in the brand, have confidence in the safety of their product. And uh, so we've kicked off a thank you to our own customers, which also uh, includes some testimonials of our customers and uh, what they feel and why they're loyal uh, Toyota uh, folks, and uh, we've kicked that off with some unprecedented incentives from our side. You can watch that entire interview later today at our website, www.autolinedetroit.tv. Okay, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time to answer this week's trivia question. We asked you to identify this car. And the correct answer is, it is a Crosley Hotshot. And the winner is Larry Gruenwald from Parump, Nevada. Congratulations, Larry. You just won an AutoLine Detroit coffee mug. And that is it for today's top news in the global automotive industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.